What's up, YouTube? It's the Console Samurai with Grown Ups Gaming. If you're watching my channel, you probably know who Nintendo is. They're a huge video game company that has a very long history with video games. Um, they've been part of the console home console market pretty much ever since there was a home console market. Um, obviously, they weren't the first company, but they were among the earliest companies to do it. Same thing with the handhelds. They they have been around since handheld video games really became a thing. Earlier last year, they actually announced they were going to partner with another company to bring us mobile games to our iOS and Android devices. So it is obvious they're stepping out of their comfort zone a little bit. Well, in the last couple of days, Nintendo announced that they're stepping out of their comfort zone just a little bit more. President Kimishima announced that Nintendo will be making movies soon. And we're not, we're probably not talking about these low budget movies that are going to be going on to. You know, your 3DS or your Wii U or your Project NX, whatever the hell that's going to be. We're talking about big box office movies, most likely. Huge ones that you go to the theater and see. And I find that very surprising because, to be honest, Nintendo has been very tight-fisted with their IPs for a very long time. Especially when it comes to movies. Ever since the Super Mario Brothers movie came out back in 94, 95, whatever that was, Nintendo has been very very cautious about letting any other company deal with their IPs because the Super Mario Brothers movie was not what they were expecting. They were very unhappy with the way that it came out, the way it dealt with the source material, and it wasn't just Nintendo. It was it was the fan base for the most part were really unhappy with the way the movie turned out. You know, it it was okay, honestly, I will watch the movie it's on if it's on TV. Um, I don't think I own a copy of it on, on DVD, but it wouldn't surprise me if I did and I would watch it. Although it is a terrible movie and it did not do the source material justice in any way. I still would watch it because it's just that kind of movie. But ever since then Nintendo has been really really tight-fisted. They do not want any company to deal with their IPs at all. They don't even really want to do cameos which is all we've really seen since the Super Mario Brothers movie. Bowser had a cameo in Wreck-It Ralph, and I think there might have been some very brief cameos in Pixels, but I can't really be 100% sure. But that's really all we've seen from Nintendo's IPs since, I mean, that was, what, 22 years ago. That's all we've seen was two cameos. So I do find it very surprising when they talk about they want to do their own. Now, it's less surprising when they're going to be the ones behind the wheel, because that does make sense. If they're behind the wheel, they do have more control over it, and they can ensure that the IP actually does get dealt with the proper way. I still find it surprising they're looking to get into the movies. Now, unfortunately, they have not announced what IP it's going to be. So we don't know. We don't know. It could be a new Super Mario Brothers movie that actually will do the source material justice. Um, it could be Donkey Kong, but I feel like they would have difficulty doing that. I just, I'm not sure if that would work without it seeming like a children's version of King Kong or Planet of the Apes. I just think that might be difficult. Um, Legend of Zelda would be interesting in that it really does have the right kind of adventure level for a movie, but Link being a silent protagonist, you really can't let him speak, which would hurt the movie, or you can make him speak, which I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you Nintendo fans are going to feel some kind of way about you making Link speak. Historically, he is a silent protagonist. Um, I am not against him speaking, but I think it has to be done correctly. Now, the one IP that I do think actually would work really, really well for a movie is Metroid. I think Metroid would really translate very well to a movie. You don't really need a big cast. They'd have to be careful to make sure it doesn't just feel like a pitch black ripoff or something like that, but I think Metroid with the type of story it is could actually be very interesting. It, I think that would be one I'd actually really like to see. But what do you think? What do you think about Nintendo getting into the movie the movie industry? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Should they just focus on trying to trying to repair their reputation in the home console market? Or do you think they should branch out? If they should branch out, which IP do you want to see them make a movie out of? Either way, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.